Welcome back, and now we are on episode two of this computer server build thing that I'm doing here. And I'm here with my power supply, and um, I use some of this bad zoom camera still, can't really see anything, dust off the inside here. And I cleaned it out pretty well. Um, anyway, I also have my mini fans now, these 40 millimeter fans. They came in the mail. Come on, focus. NMB. I don't think it's going to let me focus on here. Oh, there it is, finally, macro. There it is, they're 12 volt fans, 0.1 amp. Yep, they're pretty good. Pretty quiet. Um, of course, have to see how they are once I get them in the case. And I also got my fan controller. Steel Series mouse pad and Razer Naga. That's old stuff. Um, my fan controller, you can control each four of these speeds, or the four, span, four fans. I'll be putting that inside. It also, if I take off the top panel, there's actually a lot of space inside of here that I could hide cables in. Oh. That latch is weird over here. It doesn't matter, I have 100% battery life on this camera. Okay. Yeah. And you can also unplug individually the fans, so if I don't need all four, then I can just unplug them and turn them off. But there's a lot of extra space in there that I can hold cables, like right here, where I have converted the SATA adapter thing that I found to Molex using the black and white cables. The white one is supposed to be yellow, but it's not because the, for some reason the color on this cable is just wrong. Um, I, the first time I tried doing this, the, this black cable didn't work, so I had to use the other black. They have two black leads on there, so I couldn't really tell which one was the minus for the 12 volts. But, trial and error, I found it. That's how it plugs in, just yellow to yellow, black to black, in the Molex thing. And it's kind of handy. Uh, this Molex adapter has a... Um, like a splitter pretty much. Um, so this end you can plug a Molex into so you don't lose um, another one of your Molex power supports uh, power plugs, not supports, what the heck? You don't lose a Molex power plug when you plug your little fan controller in because this thing uses no power pretty much. It's just running fans off your motherboard. Um, so yeah, I have that connected and I'm gonna have to reinforce that with some hot glue and some of this fancy electrical tape hit the camera there, geez. Uh, so I have to do that. I have a hot glue gun warming up here. But I also was able to test this power supply using the good old fashioned paperclip method uh, to jump start it. And it works fine, it's not too loud. But, um, I also formatted the hard drive and stuff like that. So I don't think there's anything else I need to cover before I start hot gluing. There's a connector I cut off, but that is pretty much all, so I'm going to hot glue that on, I think, right now. And of course, I don't know if I showed this power strip at any time, but someone might point out that I did not have it turned on, so the hot glue gun was not warming up that entire time that I was talking here, so that was a complete failure. Anyway, back to getting this thing ready. After um, after I secure that connection, I'll turn her on and videotape it just to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I have this thing here. I've plugged in. Well, not completely yet. I still have the hot glue gun plugged in. But um, this is all set up, and I got some the fans positioned. Here's my connector. All nice and tucked away. Hot glue secured and uh, electrical taped. Electrical taped those extra connectors there. Um, I don't know what I'll do with that, probably nothing. But this is the new 
connector. It connects via, via SATA. So, um, let me try to get the SATA. Oh, if I can do this one-handed, this will be quite impressive. Don't know if it'll work. Let me just... Okay, yeah, I couldn't have gotten that, but um, get the tape out of here. Just put that on the side of there to hold it closed for now. I have the screws for it, but I took them out to look inside. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so that's all ready. Fan controller, CPU, fans, that's all that's hooked up to it. So, if we go ahead and shut off the glue gun, plug this in, and as soon as we press this on, the power supply will come to life. There you go, little fans. Actually putting out a good amount of airflow over the four. Here is our... Whoa, that's bright on the camera. Man, let me turn the... It's not really letting me adjust, but it's probably going to look really weird, really bright, these LEDs, but they're not really that bright in real life. The camera's contrast is kind of just being bad. But yeah, um, we can turn these down. You can probably hear the fans riving down. Of course, they're out in the open, we can fully hear them. So, that's actually not a bad amount of airflow coming out right now, with them at like 33%. If I turn them all the way down, let's see what happens. This one on the left is a little bit sticky, I'll have to mess with it. It's actually not a bad amount of airflow either. So, I might end up leaving it on a pretty low amount. But, I mean, you can hear it really rev up when I... Oh, I shouldn't have done it with a sticky one, of course. I should do it with this one. It really does work. And now it's pushing 100%, and it falls off. Yep, exactly. That's what happens. That's what happens. So, let's power this off. Shut down. Shuts off pretty quick. Fan stops spinning and everything, so yeah. So I have everything lined up here on the desk again. A little bit more put together. Um, yeah. But I'm just going to leave it really like this until tomorrow when I should be receiving some more shipments. And then I'll probably do a video on those as well. I think the case is supposed to come either tomorrow or the day after, but I. I kind of really want to get the case because then I can actually uh, get started <laughs> putting some stuff in. Uh, I don't have screws for these fans, so I'm going to have to find some. Uh, I also don't have screws for the hard drive, but um, this fan controller came with some screws that I won't be using. I might be able to use those. If that doesn't work, then I'll just have to find some somewhere. But. Or I could always just hot glue it in like everything else. No, that wouldn't work. Don't do that for hard drives. That is not a good idea. Um, <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty much all for today. Um, I'm glad this is all working and we got the connection problem figured out. I don't know why this thing didn't come with a Molex, but it didn't and we figured it out. So, all is running good right now. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time when we will actually have some more parts and we can get more progress done. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.